What is today's subject? Today, Guru Dev, we will continue with the verse 44 from the last time. Uh, I, I can read the verse one time and then continue where, where we stop. Vilapakusumanjali, verse 44. O Devi, when he touches your low lowered shoulders in the rasa dance, Krishna, the enemy of Mura, looks like a full moon. Kalanidhi, shining with an abundance of lust. O Kalavati, artistic girl, when will this maid servant joyfully place a garland of sweet jasmine flowers surrounded by wandering humming bees on those shoulders. Shiraguna Tadasa Goswami says, Prachura Kama Punjo Chavala Kalanidhi Each limb of Krishna the ocean of art is blazing with a desire to unite with each limb of the artistic girl Shiradika. He is, after all, the embodiment of the transcendental erotic flavor. This desire is not a mundane, selfish desire. Sri Jiva Goswami writes about the opening verse of the Rasa Lila chapters of Srimad Bhagavad. Although the Lord is Atmarama or self satisfied, and Aptakama completely fulfilled. Devotional love can still awaken desires within his heart. The Lord can do anything to increase the ecstasy of his loving devotees and to accept the service rendered by them. His main purpose is to fulfill the desires of the beautiful girls of Raja and the gopis only purpose is to make their beloved happy. To reveal this supreme truth, Srimad Bhagavad relates the Rasa Leela of the Lord and the Vraja Sundaris in five chapters 
that are like the five life heirs of Srimad Bhagavat. Of all these loving curls, Srimati Radhika is supreme and unrivaled. She is the crown jewel of gopis. And no one can make Mohana enjoy so much as her. Ujwala, shining. Mohana's abundant shining lust makes him yearn for playful pastimes with Shirada. There are other concerts also, but Mohana's mind is fixed on Shiradika. And although millions of gopis dance wonderfully during the Rasa dance, Mohana's gaze is fixed on Shirada. How wonderfully sweet are these pastimes. Gita Govindam. He embraces one gopi. He kisses one gopi. And he makes love with another gopi. He can please everyone, but only Shiradika can please him. That is her speciality. She is Kalavati, an artistic girl, indeed. Her lowered shoulders show that she has met Mohana. His left arm rests on her shoulder and this makes her very blissful. Tulasi's expert narration crystallizes the flavors of the rasa dance before Mahabhava Mai. Tulasi immerses Kishori Mani's mind in the lila rasa, prattling. Now his arm rests on your shoulder. If I hang this jasmine garland on them now, it may ultimately break. Anyway, let it break. Its only purpose is anyway to make Mohana attracted to you and to make him touch you.
Blessed is this maid servant. Who can make Swamini happy like her? Swamini will not just hear any old topic. If it suits her mood, she will hear it. Otherwise not. Mahaprabhu also did not hear from everybody. Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya 5 Whoever brought a song or a Sanskrit verse to Mahaprabhu first had to recite it to Swarup Samtar. And if Swarupa approved of it, he would let Mahaprabhu hear. If the song or text was not in a good taste or was philosophically controversial, the Lord could not tolerate it and would be angry within his mind. These confidential topics must be discussed in a group that is favorably disposed. While doing bhajan, the mind must meet the minds of the acharyas. Devotional service cannot be rendered while the mind remains in material consciousness. We must be able to exchange thoughts with each other. How pure the mind must be for that. Won't I become the way that she to whom I have given my life wants me to be. O oh, Swamini, then you will not have any secrets for me anymore. Mm -hmm. For attaining Radharani's service, the devotee must give his whole mind to her, giving up everything else. Radharani. Gurudev. Yeah. Do you have something in the heart? No, you say not very nice. I like that. <laughs> Please. Uh, okay, good. I will try to fulfill your desire. So, we can see here that while doing bhajan, mind must meet the minds of acharyas. It's written mind can meet, has to meet 
the minds of acharyas but it means also the heart must meet the hearts of acharyas and these feelings of acharyas has to be infused in the heart of sadaka and it's not enough only one infusion we have completely to depend in all our life from this infusion devotion service cannot be rendered while the mind remains in material consciousness baba is written and we must be able to exchange thoughts with each other how pure the mind must be for that this is the task for the mind and heart to be pure enough to receive the thoughts and feelings of sadhus and great souls chitavrit has to be pure but my mind is very contaminated full of lies cheating propensity and because of that i cannot hear i cannot feel the heart of sadakas or of sadhus and that's my personal problem because i have so many lies which i'm hi hiding from myself and from others and i'm not allowing anyone especially pure rasika devotees to come in my heart and in that way i cannot make any spiritual advancement because i am not able to exchange the thoughts and feelings and in that way i cannot make any advancement i don't understand the deep secrets of devotional service and that is my misfortune because i am in perfect association but i cannot use this and in that way swamini cannot make me like she wants because i don't allow her and my guru to modeling me like they want and this is my great misfortune because yes guru the what very you know i'm excited to this because in that way i cannot know the secrets of radhika's heart because i'm not able to enter in the hearts of her dasis 
but somehow they are very merciful. Very, very embodiment of mercy. And they are come in this world to help conditioned souls like myself. Look on these qualifications. They are only asking for greed. And even if this greed is not present in the heart, Radhika's eternal maidservants will fire up this greed in the heart of conditioned soul. And that is why is most important thing to always be in the close association of such the sublime personalities. The Caesars also like Tamni is waiting for his devotee to be closed, and uh, Dasi also waiting for as his associates waiting, and for that time when the Sukriti will come in the life that they will be putting their mind and heart to go more in in this realization. Mind is most important thing. Mind brings to my heart. Mind brings to my senses. And when we are in our sarupa ways, the senses also become divine. When we are coming to sadhaka ways, then senses become different direction, material direction, sadhaka ways. Direction means we can do material thing and we want to involve in material way, creating spiritual suffering. Involvement and by their mercy they remove us from the clutch of uh, suffering and bring to the purity to the mind and senses, then we use our heart to increase our love. All has to be pure sanatana. So, root sanatana means we have to careful in sadhak there. Sanatan is our jiva, is sanatan. My plastic body and senses are not sanatan. And when we come, atma understanding means myself, soul understanding, then we can develop sambandha in our sarupavis, what is gifted by mercy of Radhika and Guru. And we practice in that avis to serve Radhika. That is Sanatana. That is a Jaiva Dharma. 
what you see is done. Thank you. Why physical body dharma is dynamic dharma? Because this temporary, it's not permanent. No, me sanatan is not sanatan. Anitta dharma means useless. Then it becomes crystal clear of my life. Then the Grihastha Ashram people will say that to maintain, I have to do, to maintain, I have to work, to maintain myself. Okay, sure I have to do. But we have to be tactful how much we have to give time, four time, 10%, 20%. We have to try to be, live in the real consciousness, in our Jaiva Tattva, in a, in a, in a Sarupavish. And this mind will bring out to you by the association of Rasi Bhakta and chanting and listening. Mind has to do this. Mind has to be agree to come out from the material identification is not the only goal in our life. It is maybe secondary can be possible. Not primary. Because my Sadak Deha is there, so I have to maintain it for that. We need it. Okay, it's not primary, it's secondary. What is my primary? That we forget and we suffer. You can continue, Rasamayi, please. For attaining Radharani's service, the devotee must give his whole mind to her. Yeah. First mind. I say I give my heart and mind I give to the different thing. This is not true. Mind has to be there. Come to Vrindavan and you give mind in Croatia. It's not coming very often. Mind has to be in Vrindavan. <laughs> right? Mind to Sri Raghunatha's mind is in the kingdom of transcendental pastimes. Standing before Swamini, she says, Look. I will adorn your lowered shoulders with this jasmine garland. Radha 
and Mohana keep their arms on each other's shoulders. That's why their shoulders are low. How sweetly and expertly they shuffle with their feet. When Mohana places his left arm that is so long that it reaches down to his knees, he places it on Srimati's left shoulder during the rasa dance. He extends it so far that he can touch her left breast. But Swamini slaps him on the hand to stop him from such naughty acts. They relish each other's sight from the corners of their eyes and their arms are studded with goose pimples. Gauri Swamini, Golden Swamini and Blackish Mohana have low shoulders because of their meetings. Tulasi says, mm. Mohana is set alight by the fire of abundant lust. And you extinguished that fire. Shri Ramananda Rai told Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Shatta Koti Gopite Nahe Kama Nirvapana Ihate Anumana Shri Radha Raguna Not even the billion gopis can extinguish the blazing fire of Krishna's lusty desire. But Radhika can. So from this, we can understand Shirada's glories. Blessed is this maid servant. How much rasa she makes Swamini relish while serving her. This cannot be experienced without allegiance to Srila Rupa and Srila Raguna Dasa Goswami. This cannot be experienced without allegiance to Srila Rupa and Srila Raghunathas Goswami. Srila Narottam Das Thakur sings Jaya Sanatana Rupa Prema Bhakti Rasa Kupa All glories to Sanatana 
and Rupa Goswami. The wells of nectar of loving devotion. Yeah. The mind should be immersed in that well. Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. Gurudev, in this small paragraph, last paragraph, it's written what you are stressing in last sharings of yours. And it's very interesting that Baba in the beginning is saying this cannot be experienced without allegiance to Sri Rupa and Raghunath. Mm -hmm. And next sentence, he's putting Narottam Das Thakur words and saying all glories to Sanatana and Rupa Goswami. Mm -hmm. He didn't say Mm -hmm. It's a all Gauri has Siddhant is Parakya. Parakya means you, you got the hint and you have to find the meaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is meaning of Sanatan? We say the Vedic Dharma. Today morning I'm talking on that. What is Vedic Dharma? Who is practicing Vedic Dharma? Say me. What is the Veda Sloka? Somebody do, doing practice? Nobody. So why are you lying that you are doing Vedic Dharma? Vedic Dharma is, it was, it is, and it will be, that is Vedic Dharma. Who believe in this, this is Vedic Dharma. This is Sanatan. It was, it is, and it will be. That is the base of Veda's conclusion and base of Sanatan Dharma is, it was, it is, it will be. And that is Atma and Paramatma. Jiva, Atma Ram. What Sanatan Goswami is discussing with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave teaching of Jaiva Siksha means Sanatan Siksha, and give the name of Sanatan. By understanding to your process what you do, that will be Sanatan Dharma. To know, come to your soul consciousness and try to be in now, It will be bhakti. If you start living in now and not what happened and what will be happen, that is devotion. It you was soul was before, soul is now, and soul will be happening again, changing the body. This is always will move like this. And if you like to go back to home with yourself, not go in the ring of that, then go to back to home. That is the place from where you are coming. So we are decided that we come to serve Radha and we want to be with Radha Rani. That has to fix. And that mind has to be fixed, and my heart has to fix, and all activities has to be in that direction. 
that way sanatan goswami is teaching in sadhak deha is very easy to change your mind from different direction what is non living thing you are putting your energy try to bring to your sanatan thing in your sarup by give by radharani to serve to radhika and the this krishna they are they are the goal of the life and develop sambandha gyan sambandha where sambandha we physically develop children sambandha grandson grandfather brother sister physical sambandha material identification sambandha but sanatan goswami says sambandha with radhika with the real sambandha because this is abhideha in your divine consciousness that sambandha has to be there that sambandha has to be pure with your your atma ram to sambandha to parmatma to that living identity inside you has to go in sambandha with divine when that sambandha is clear to you then in your abhideha stage then paryojan is only left service loving service is the frame of paryojan that is the goal of our life that we have a sambandha and sambandha we need prema prema paryojan what to find you are with me i am with you why to find you and what you are not my goal my goal is prema to you because i am living with you yeah i am with you in my manjari saru i am with radhika with you i see your love in between krishna and you and then i want to be also let's see that all the time that is my prayojan prem is the prayojan to find you is not my prayojan oh krishna find you is not my prayojan prayojan to see your love that is ragunath also some it is when is sarupa vaish is coming and when we are living in my siddha deha with my relation with you swami then avideha grows and sanatan goswami teaching this is sanatan your jiva is sanatan your body is not sanatan sadhak they had this practice has to do sanatan shiksha in sadhak they have we have to teach this that why you are bothering for the senses why you are bothering for other thing oh i have a body i have to collect some fun to eat i have to collect some place to live sure sanatan goswami say why you are sitting outside ragnath go make heart and sit inside the heart radharani is putting close to you this is good to take service from when sanatan is telling take do the necessity what is your requirement 
indirectly arrange your necessary things, but not involve in that. Fulfill your necessary arrangement, what not Radha Rani or Krishna has to do for you, you arrange yourself. Hmm. Huh? What is the meaning behind that? And then do bhajan. But time used for the mind has to use for this, not for your sensing, not for your 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 material things. This is nothing to do. It's all living in Vrindavan. Yeah. Mind is out. Living in Radha Charan and mind is not there. Mind has to be there. In the pit of God. Other thing is all nonsense out of that. All is useless and disturbance. When the other thing will be feeling giving you disturbance, you become lucky. Then you understand. That is Sanatan Sutra. And then flow start. Rupa and Rupa give Pariyogana. Then realization come of the frame is the goal of life. Frame is the Pariyogana. God is not a goal, frame is the goal. Krishna is not good. Where the Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada writes, Krishna is the goal of your life. He says, Sarup and Sarup Siddhi is the goal of life. What is meaning? Sarup means living in your bodily consciousness by devotional practice. You have to know your Sarup. What relation you like, what you want to become. That is Saru. And develop this perfection that in this identification, in the form of Radha Dasi, I will be always trying to lead that consciousness. How much you do, 100% that come to the one point and that becomes Siddhi. That's our Siddhi. What perusion will happen? You are there, Swamini is there, and Swamini is frame exchanging with Krishna what you are looking. That is only your Pariyoga to be there mm -hmm. as a mind of it. That is Pariyoga. If I have to take so many births, no problem. I want to live in this Pariyoga. Frame is the Pariyoga. My birth, death, this, that is no meaningful. Frame is the Pariyoga. I want to be Dasi of Radhika. This become tasteful, other become tasteless. You know, all bogus, wasting time. <laughs> Pratikul, Anukul, it becomes favorable to me, it's not favorable to me. More and more go deep and more and more become sensitive. You fear, 
For small things, you become fearful. Oh, it will take uh, give divorce and to me. Uh, how much you become sensitive, you need. Fencing, more protection, and more can is the must. When somebody protects you, and it becomes more favorable life, more favorable in the sun. Are a material world they can portray that. Only see that perfect. My Swami, boss can protect you the servants. Other. They do the chirharan, you know. Draupadi chirharan. They want to be naked in the market. What is Chirara? They steal everything. Only Swami can protect us. This matter to become close to protect our sister. People sur survive that is a lady or sari. This cloth, she is cloth. Where the cloth is coming and protecting this lady. Ye nari hai ki sari. In Hindi they say, Ye nari hai ki sari hai. Ye nari hai ki sari hai. They confuse all the uh, person who is sitting, they confuse because they cannot understand how other can, who Krishna is protecting, he did not see, only see the clothes is coming on and on. And nobody take out, the, remove the clothes. So protection is only covered by Swami, our Radharani is protected, protect us, no other. This material world, Radha Radha. We think, but it's not right. While Tulasi hangs the garland around Swamini's neck, she reminds her of her past words with Mohana. If Mohana was now embracing you, there would be no need and no chance anymore for me to put this garland on. After adoring Srimati with the flower garland, Tulasi places a big jeweled mirror in front of her and says, 
Hey, Shamaju. Just see now how I decorated you. Swamini is enchanted when she sees her sweet reflection in the mirror and proudly says, Tulasi, you really know how to make Mohana enjoy. Even when he sees me without makeup, he becomes enchanted. So I cannot imagine how he will feel when he sees this extraordinary beauty. Everything will be wasted when my hero cannot enjoy all this. Uh -huh. In this way, Swamini speaks out her heart to Tulasi in so many ways. Suddenly, the vision ends and Shiraguna Dasa laments and prays as follows. O oh, artistic queen of the Rasa dance, Shirade, by your mercy, Mohana can hold you around the neck during the luscious Maharasa Lila. As you both dance, in the middle of the Rasa circle. O Radhe, during this erotic Rasa pastime, your Lord became known as the brightly shining full moon lust. Who knows the glory of your neck and of your special sweet attributes? I will hang a sweet jasmine garden that is surrounded by a swarm of buzzing bumblebees around that neck and thus make it even more splendid. Shridasa Goswami prays, I will stay at your feet and render so many kinds of service. This is the end of verse 44. This verse is showing actually the last seva of Sringar Rasa and very simple seva which is Tulasi is doing just to put the garland around the lower shoulders of the Radhika. She did everything before, dressed Radhika, put all ornaments, and now this final touch, very simple seva, just to put the garland around your lower shoulders.
and in this very simple seva she is expressing so deep feelings to Swamini but also helping Swamini to flow in remembrance of her lover and we can see that even such kind of simple services when they are did with full devotion can touch the heart of Radhika and after that Baba is saying then she puts the mirror in front of her yeah and now Radhika is looking to her beautiful face and ordinary ladies will say how beautiful am I but Radhika is saying no Moham will be completely enchanted when she see me such a beautifully decorated and ornamented. So this is some kind, my understanding is some kind of peak. Very simple. But it is an emotional peak how Radhika is expressing her deep focus on Mohan and her desire that she satisfy her. To satisfy him with her own ornaments, beautiful appearance, with her own sweetness. And the Baba is saying she is Kalavati, artistic expert, ecstasy girl, and Mohan is Kalanidi, the ocean of art. And this is the Madhurya Rasa, Shringara Rasa, which is actually Adiras. From this Kalanidi, Kalavati, everything appears. From their sublime loving relationship. Everything appears in spiritual world, all Rasas are expanding and everything also penetrate in material world. There's different meanings and secrets of Kala, Nidhi and Kalavati, but maybe not time to speak about that.
Very nice. You're beautiful. Any question? And you want to share something? Ask to Gopinath. Gopinath, share something. <laughs> I say something, yeah. <laughs> I feel very empty, Guru, without my Gora Chandra. I hope he will appear. Say to Gora Chandra, become. Gora Chandra. Somebody you will call, he will appear. Appear. Is also hiding over this. No, he cannot hide with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hare Krishna. <laughs> he is in Japan now. Yes. Share something about Chandra Vaya. Nothing to share. I am only listening. Some nectar. Listen. Yeah. Well, there was one thing I found. I don't know if you think Mokar. When when Swamini is saying uh, done, done. No, just just Please, then, no. just if Gurudev can confirm. Radhe Radhe. Gura Chandra Bhaya, you Radhe, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Just when when um, when Swamini is saying that uh, now I look so beautiful now, Mohan will be happy. I feel she's also saying to make the manjari happy because this was the goal of the manjari, you know, to dress her nicely. And so she's not saying for herself, but she's, she's saying out of love for her little kinkery that you, now you made so nice Deva, now Mohan will be happy. So she's giving that confirmation and love to Wow, to the very good. She's so merciful. And Manjari's are thinking, my seva will be used when it will destroy. Yeah. Because the flower is used when it's destroyed. Jai Ho Gurudev. <laughs> when it will, time will come, then it will come out, it will be, what do you say? Crushed. 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 Or <laughs> not in right place. <laughs> broken. We are broken. <laughs> wow, very nice. So, yeah. I also want to share, Gurudev and uh, Goranga, yes. I like very much what you uh, shared about the mind, touching the mind of our Rupanuga Achayas. But of course, we all pray that uh, I can touch Gurudev's mind, Gurudevi's mind, and, and he or she will touch my mind. And you say very nicely that... Uh, to be online is not always easy. To be connected and to feel that something is trans transmitting, it is a is a, a daily or minutely endeavor for me. And um, but I also have this experience that even if I am covered, they still come and they encourage me also like Gurudev you also come and you give inspirations when I am feeling lonely when I feel in separation then always some new some new drops are coming and I'm always amazed that 
although mm-hmm. I am so uh, fallen or I may be not so pure, uh, but still my, my Guru Manjari is giving me everything I need because she and I, we have a navel connection. And this navel connection is never broken if I keep it. So there will be always some transmission of some new, new uh, feelings, how to serve or how to be excited about the Radha Dasyam process. And uh, I feel so at the same time, yes, we may feel that uh, I am fallen and I am not pure and my mind is everywhere. But at the same time, because of this navel connection, also they are giving so many gifts to me, even though I am not so much uh, like Opinat says, sometimes I feel empty. But they fill me up again and again, and you all fill me up when I listen to these beautiful sharings. And uh, yes, relishing is going on, even in the separation, even in the feelings of emptiness or loneliness. Thank you, (laughs) Radhe. My experience, I say you, the best beautiful time in the life, when you are want to be in the shelter of Guru Mahdu. Mm. And that moment and that period of time, it was really surprising. Whole life you have to live in that remembrance. And when we come out and we want to do something with my Sadak deha, some external activities, then it's also you understand that it's also very painful. You can see when I want to do it, creating problem, and when I was surrendered to him, and it was all opulence is automatic, is surprisingly happening in my life. You can feel it. I, in my life, I feel this. When I want to do, I cannot do anything in my life. When I surrender to you, Gurudev, everything is happening in my life. And people understand that I am doing. But I know it's all your mercy is happening to me. But this mind makes this to do. Mind is a creating problem. That is manovati. Mind wants to research and suffer. So Raghunath Das Goswami only time giving manasiksha. Only thing we have to help to our mind, to pray to mind, please cooperate. And when he starts cooperating, all life change. Thank you. <laughs>